What is going down, YouTube? I'm Dark Jack. In this game, I start off by getting a 22 kill streak with my Galil, and then I go on to get a ton of more kills. What I like to do on the map of Vanna is to run off to this left side, go through this building, throw a grenade to try to get them as they're coming out of their spawn, and then I like to set up in the back sniper, sniper building that's by their sea flag, which is where teammates like to go and hide up in this building to camp, because this is a great building to snipe from. So I drop shot that guy with Ghost, because I know that people who use Ghost like to sit up in here and camp. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold out this area. I'll put my motion sensor down so I can see people coming up the stairs. Then I just kill people as they're coming up toward me to get their revenge kills. And I can also kill them as they're coming out of their spawn. So that's a good place to put a motion sensor because they can't see the motion sensor, they can't blow it up. And so I can always know where they are unless they're using Hacker Pro. So when I play Black Ops, I kind of take my playstyle from Excalibur in some ways because Excal is an aggressive camper. And I learned how to play Call of Duty from watching videos by Blame Truth and Excal in the Call of Duty 4 days. So what Excal does is he gets up into the enemy team's spawn and he spawn camps them. He camps outside of their spawn aggressively. So that's how Domination was played in Call of Duty 4. And that's why they introduced Painkiller into Modern Warfare 2. Because the spawn killing in Call of Duty 4 Domination was so bad. And the spawns in that game do not flip unless you get directly into their spawn. So in this game, it's a little more difficult to spawn kill because the spawns flip pretty frequently. So I see the guy on my, on my radar because I have the motion sensor. And then my teammate just gets the triple nade because they know, they know all the nade spots. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to patrol this area and I finally get my blackbird because I knew I was one kill off of blackbird. And when you're one kill off your kill streak, there's no point in rushing out and dying. That's what I've learned. It's much better just to play carefully and uh, just camp for one or two minutes if you have to just to uh, get that one kill because when you're playing defensively you always have the advantage over someone who is rushing now I've got my chopper gunner and I got the blackbird for my team so now my teammates are going to play really aggressively and push into their spawn and get blackbirds themselves that way we have blackbirds for the rest of the game but the other team is trying to shoot me down here they were pretty persistent in trying to sh kill me when I'm in this chopper because now that the game has been out for so long, so many people have Ghost Pro, so it's hard to get kills with the chopper gunner. And I, I chose to use the silenced Galil because the Galil silenced is an amazing gun. The Galil has great range to it, and with a silencer, it can still kill pretty effectively at medium range. So it has much better range than the FAMAS, even though the FAMAS kills faster at close range. And I pick up this opponent's AUG with this really weird reticle, I don't know what that is. So now I go to town with it, because the AUG has a great rate of fire. It's probably better than the FAMAS, because it has a faster aim down sight time and better hip fire accuracy. And I didn't see that guy. That guy could have killed me, but I got lucky there. He was not a very good player. Now I'm holding down this balcony, and I'm killing them as they come out of their spawns. I'm just being a real pest right now. The other team hates me. Because I'm up here in this building and they can't get out of their spawn. And it's amazing how fast the AUG can kill. Because the, this game doesn't have stopping power, so the best guns are the ones that have the highest rate of fire. So eventually I get killed. I get 20, 22 kills in a row, and that guy knifes me. And then right now I skip ahead to later in the game, because I don't want the video to be too long. So now I'm going to continue building up another kill streak and get another blackbird for my team. So I lay down prone there and wait for him to come around the corner. Since there's no sense rushing since we have a blackbird up. And I see these guys spawning back there. That's a common spawn point in the back alley. And I see someone on my radar. He's upstairs. but So I'm going to run around and jump shot him. Which means you jump up in the air as you come around a corner to try to throw off the ram. And now they've spawned in the offset building, which is the red building. I was in yellow. So I'm blanking around trying to add to my stats. This game I get in the top three of my team in terms of a uh, score, which is pretty rare because I'm playing with a strong group of teammates who are all running high kill streaks. So usually I'm in the middle in terms of the leaderboard for my team. 
And what, what else I like about the AUG is that it has a really nice reload animation. When you reload with the dual mags, it looks really sexy. I must admit. But I have gold camo for my FAMAS, and I don't have gold camo for my AUG. So I don't want to play with the AUG, because I want to use a gun that has gold camo. Now I've got my Blackbird. So I went back to my original strategy of patrolling this one area. So rather than trying to sprint from one side of the map to the other, it's best just to hold down one spawn point and patrol that one area of the map. Now I've got his uh, Golden Glil, which is very nice. When I was 14th Prestige, I bought a Golden Glil. Then I bought a Gold FAMAS when I was 15th Prestige. So yeah, the FAMAS is definitely better than, than the Glil. I'm trying to pick up those guys, but they get away from me. And I finally got Tacmas Pro as well for, for 15th Prestige. So for Call of Duty Black Ops, I've accomplished all my goals. I have a Gold FAMAS, I have the 15th player card. I've got all the emblems and player cards on level 50. And I have a 3.5 KD. And I have all the pro perks that I want. I've got Ghost Pro, Slot Hand Pro, Hacker Pro, with Flag Jacket Pro, and Tac Mask Pro. And it was a real pain to get all those Nova Gas kills because I got Tac Mask Pro when I was 7th Prestige as well. And Nova Gas kills are a real pain in the butt because your teammates keep stealing your kills after you've stunned them with a Nova Gas. So to get my 20 Nova Gas kills, I probably stunned 50 or 60 people with Nova Gas just to get that challenge. Because the I either couldn't kill the guy or my teammates stole the kills from me. So now I've got my chopper gunner. So I'm trying to rank up. I'm 14th in this game. But this is older gameplay. Now I'm 15th level 50. Because I, I ranked up during double XP. During Call of Duty XP.